Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd and a lot of you have requested that you want me to talk about Fuller House, <laughs> which is coming to Netflix on February 26th. So a little backstory about Fuller House. I made a video a couple years ago where I talked about how there was this article that was floating around talking about there was going to be a sequel series to Full House. This was after Girl Meets World. Then realized it was an April Fool's joke. It was an April Fool's gag and was completely debunked. And then after that, Candace Cameron and Jodie Sweetin and even John Stamos would walk around talking about, we would love to do a sequel series of Full House. And all these Full House reunion pictures kept popping up. And then lo and behold, Netflix talks to them. Some things work out. And now this April Fool's joke has become a real thing. It's an actual show now. <laughs> so be careful with the April Fool's jokes you put out there, people, because they could actually become real. The show is going to star Candace Cameron, Jody Sweeten, and Andrea Barber, DJ Tanner, <laughs> Stephanie Tanner, and Kimmy Gibbler from the original series. They're adults now. Candace Cameron, uh, DJ Tanner, has three kids, but she's a widow. Her husband died, which is just weird because in Full House, her father, Danny Tanner, his wife died. Look, that's not a coincidence. That's a curse. You guys are cursed. What is going on in the Tanner household that every time one of you guys marry somebody, they die? You know what? Maybe this is per perfect that it's on Netflix. I think we got a new series here. Make it a murderer. <laughs> Full house edition. <laughs> Either you guys are cursed or there's a conspiracy theory where you guys are killing your spouses because that just don't make sense that both the father and daughter have dead spouses. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's too much of a coincidence. Oh, I also love that DJ Tanner's uh, ex-husband, dead husband's last name was Fuller. So her last name is actually Fuller. Fuller House. No, that's actually her name. It's Fuller. Fuller House. <laughs> Crafty. And her sister Stephanie is going to join her. Stephanie's an aspiring musician, just like Jesse was. And even their friend Kimmy Gibbler is going to move in. She's, I guess, the Joey of the group. Kimmy Gibbler, she has a daughter. And yes, there are going to be cameos or special appearances from all of the former cast members of Full House, with the exception of the Olsen twins. No Olsons. They said that they were going to probably do some episode that explains where Michelle is and maybe even incorporate her into a storyline without actually using Using her, but no Olsen twins of this, but you're gonna get uh, Bob Saget, Dave Coulier, John Stamos, Lori Laughlin's coming back. They're even saying that, uh, what's his name, Scott Winger, the uh, Aladdin. Uh, <laughs> uh, Steve, uh, DJ's boyfriend, apparently is gonna make some appearances in this in this series as well. Ooh, maybe there'll be a rekindled relationship. This is crazy, man. I just, I can't believe this is a real thing. <laughs> like, I like the reason why I probably haven't talked about this yet is because there's still this inkling in my brain of like, this isn't real. Like, this is all a joke, right? This is a prank. But no, it's real. I guess it is officially real. Any show now, man, you can come back. X-Files coming back. Boy Meets World. Girl Meets World. Twin Peaks is coming back. Who's next? Hang on, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> sister, sister, daughter, daughter. Come on, let's let's just smarter kids, smart guy and his smart dumb son. <laughs> smart guy and his dumb son. How about that? Just anything now. Anybody can have a show if they had a show back then. This is crazy, man. This makes me want Family Matters to come back now. There's not that much information other than that synopsis and a few pictures that Netflix put out. That's all we got. Like, all we got was this trailer, which was a really weird trailer. I mean, it's this trailer that shows the old house, and then there's a little dog that kind of looks like young Comet running around, and you hear the voices of everybody. But they have this really sad song playing, and it's just this shots of the empty house, and no one's in it. And I guess I was supposed to be like, oh, nostalgia feels about Full House. But to me, the entire time, I was thinking, they're dead, right? Like, that, this feels like they just died. I feel like they, all of them died in a crazy like car, plane, train, combined crash <laughs> because they're cursed because the, the Tanners are cursed because their spouses keep dying. It finally, the final destination finally took care of everybody else. And then there's this video where you got Jody Sweeten and Candace Cameron and Andrew Barber uh, dancing to Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nay Nay. I'm not joking. That is a real video. Look it up. It exists. Though I gotta say, um, Jodie Sweeten, right? She was a little girl last time. So when I was a kid, I grew up on Full House. And I remember Jodie Sweeten, Stephanie Tanner being like, oh, he, how rude. And then she disappeared and things happened. I know about the story. I know what happened with her, but you know, whatever. She, she's looking good. And then she comes back and she's dancing this whip nanny thing. And I was like, dang, Jodie Sweeten got a little bit of a body on her. Like, I didn't notice that before. I was like, I, I, man, I mean, it, it confuses with my brain because people would be like, Stephanie Tanner is hot. And I'm like, no, you can't say that because Stephanie Tanner is like that little, how rude. But now you're like, no, no, Stephanie Tanner is now grown up. And all right, <laughs> go ahead, Jody Sweet, man. Pants off, dance off. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> Actually, all of them, man, like they grew nicely. Like, you know, <laughs> milk does the body good. But that confusing, 
like the last time I saw you, y'all were like, Ooh, you got it, dude. <laughs> You're in big trouble, mister. And it's like, that's just crazy. It's amazing how the Olsen twins were like the little cute babies. And then they grew up and it was like, Nah, and then these random kids are like, oh, they're just here for show props. They grow up and you're like, damn! <laughs> this just feels weird. This just feels so awkward and weird. But I'm glad to see the uh, former cast members are coming back. Joey, Joey's gotta have a wife though. Like, please. <laughs> like, that dude can't be running around 30 years later still talking about, come on, man. Says the guy with giant toys in the background. Just, I'm just saying, like, let him marry Alanis Morissette. <laughs> John Stamos, he's been all kinds of stuff. He's still putting himself out there, but man, seeing him again as Jesse, I want him to do the old, like, have mercy, and watch the hair, huh? you know, all that stuff, and man, Lori Laughlin, yes, <laughs> yes. Like, you see how, see how I, I pre-drooled for Lori Laughlin. I'm just like, man, what is it with me and this Full House woman? But what is this show gonna be like? How, what is gonna be the tone of Fuller House? Like, is it going to be uh, a modern style sitcom, or is it gonna be like that classic Full House sitcom? Because look, I grew up on TGIF. I love these shows. They were all great sitcoms, but let's just be real. All right, you know, I think the nostalgia from Full House sometimes is a little bit stronger than the actual show Full House. I mean, it was a fun show, an entertaining show, but it was definitely a 80s, 90s sitcom. It shows its age. What is it gonna do? Like, I'm not saying I want an adult Full House. Like, I don't want a bunch of dirty jokes, but I'm just like, is it gonna be a more modern style show? Or are they gonna really try to go back to that? I mean, is it gonna have a laugh track? Is it gonna have, you know, all the catchphrases? Are the kids gonna now have catchphrases? Are all the problems gonna be solved in 20 minutes with a speech and that music? Bam, bam. Now, sometimes there's gonna be bullies in school. Bam, bam. And sometimes I'll be on the computer. But if you're just true to yourself, then you will never have any bully take you down. Thanks, Candace Cameron. I really appreciate that speech. And then they hug. Oh, you got it, dude. Ah, I just wrote every episode of the show. I'm just curious what the style is because I'm curious if a full house type show can work in modern day and it's just gonna be there for the nostalgia or if they're gonna try to do something a little bit different for it. I, I don't want just old school Full House show. I don't want like dirty, nasty Full House show, but just somewhere in the middle where it just feels like a sitcom that you can watch, you know, as an adult or as a kid. You get your nostalgia for the adults, you get your humor for the kids. I kind of have a feeling this show was supposed to be on ABC Family, but then ABC Family was like, uh-uh, no, nah, we don't need that no more. We got Pretty Little Liars and, and Shadow Hunters and, and Halfway Houses. We good now. We not ABC Family anymore. We free form. We edgy. We got women kissing women. You can't do nothing with us because we freeform the Fosters. So I guess we'll find out February 26th. I'm glad it's on Netflix. I feel like if Fuller House is going to be on Netflix, they should have it cross over with other Netflix shows. Could you imagine the Tanners on um, Daredevil? <laughs> you imagine on Daredevil, there's a new kingpin in town and his name is Mr. Woodchuck. <laughs> Excuse me, Daredevil. Is that walking cane made of? What? <laughs> Jessica Jones is a pit jackalope. <laughs> fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me. Let me know if you're gonna see this show and what show do you think it should be next? What else should we sequelize? I love you like a play cousin of Audi 5000 Chain Chomp, y'all.